Welcome everyone and good evening. This is X Dr. Mario Master X here. Welcome to my let's play of none other than the Japanese version of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So it is time to go defeat the boss of this temple, which we have to defeat twin mode. You know, two for the price of one, or two two heads are better than one. Anyway, what is this, Beetlejuice? Good lord, or the Beetlejuice cartoon. Oh, anyway, we gotta go defeat the boss in this temple, which we have to flip the temple here. Oh, we gotta do it. Gotta do it. Then, we're gonna go see the Great Fairy, and... We gotta go see the Great Fairy, so... We can actually get a new weapon! That will be very useful. But why am I doing that? Good lord. So... And we gotta go to the Secret Shrine. The Secret Shrine. Or the Secret Palace. So yeah, I had to sped up the game here. So you don't see me... Doing all this... Eh, crap. Hey, you don't be... So you don't see me speeding through this. Or seeing this whole tedious part of this game. This can be really tedious, so I could speed up the video, but nope. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it at all. So, anyway... So, what we need to do is do some fancy backtracking. Well, I could meet you there, but nope, I'm just going to keep it all in. Why not, right? Anyway, man, how'd this fly get in here? Good lord. The fly must have gotten in here. Seriously, I think a fly got in here. Uh, must have come from outside. Thank God I'm not eating right now. Well, I will eat my lunch. Now I gotta upload these videos. Right, anyway, enough about that. It's time to flip the temple. We're going upside down, my friend. What else can I talk about? Uh, I'm not sure, but... Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about Invader Zim. You know, I've absolutely seen every single episode of Invader Zim. Yep, Zim is absolutely a crazy character. He is a nutcase, let me tell ya. Well, not really, but still. Anyway, like I said, I have seen every single episode of Invader Zim. And my sister Emily, she actually used to draw characters from Invader Zim. Like Zim, Dib's sister... Dib's sister, Gaz, and Gurr, little robot dressed up as a dog, you know, and well, maybe Dib, but she's not good at drawing Dib. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful here. So, oh boy, gotta be careful though, because you don't want to get hit by the log. Ah, now we got, we got hit by the laser of a Beemos, so... You know what? I'm gonna blow him up. Gotta use the bombs to take out this Beemos. Don't I'll target the wrong thing. There we go, we got him. He's dead. Oh, anyway. Oh, I actually got the complete animated series of Invader Zim. I absolutely love that show. I wanna watch it again. Seriously, I wanna watch it again. I'm gonna watch it on my LG region free Blu-ray player. Oh, we're already in the door, in the boss door, and we're gonna be in the boss room here and shortly. So, so there it is. There's the entrance to the to the arena where we're gonna face twin mode. That looks pretty cool, right there. I ain't gonna lie. That that actually looks pretty cool. To the entrance of Hazy Maze Cave, my friend. To the entrance of Hazy Maze Cave. In Super Mario 64. Literally. 
Might have to edit part of this uh, commentary out. Yes, I was mispronouncing my words. Anyway, it's time to face twin mode. Yeah, this this boss battle is gonna be epic. Now I don't have a uh, Chateau Romani. That's okay. We got blue potions, and look at the size of these two guys. Are they caterpillars or centipedes? Man, I hate centipedes. They actually creep me out. So we're gonna get the giant's mask going here, and it's time to do this. So, oh, you got two of these guys. One is red, and the other is blue. So the blue, so believe it or not, the blue twin mode is actually weak to fire, and the red one is weak to ice. If I can hit him, that'd be nice. Anyway, yeah, the centipedes absolutely creep me out. So I had one crawled up my leg at a King's restaurant while while my dad was ordering some chicken and fries at King's restaurant somewhere in uh, West Louisville. Oh man, that thing just absolutely scared the hell out of me. And I screamed too. Oh man, eventually I got it off of me. Man, that's why I have a f rational fear of centipedes. Seriously. I don't like them. Oh, man. See somebody getting creeped out about that. Man, I keep getting hit by these guys. What was I doing when I was playing this? Seriously. I cannot believe that I actually just did that. And I kept getting hit like a big dummy. You fishing fool. Oh, here we go. We're going to take him out. Thank God for the double defense. Let me tell you. It's been helping me a lot. Well, we take down the red twin mode. And he's dead. Man, he is just going to be wailing in pain. He's just wailing in pain. Literally. You know, that's got to hurt. Now, all that's left... All that's left is his head. Oh, yeah. Ran out of magic power. Look at the size of the th this thing. Look at the size of twin mode. Uh, let's just drink a blue potion. Look at the size of twin mode when you're at your normal size. He's huge. But when you wear the giant's mask, he's not so big, isn't he? You're bigger than he is. So it's time to take down. The other half of twin mode, his brother, the blue one. You know, blue moon and blue smurfs. Anyway, I gotta be careful here. Yeah, yeah, this hit his face. He's already gone. Look at that. That wasn't so bad. And, and the blue twin mode's gonna be wailing in pain. You know that's gotta hurt, right? So, that is going to be about it. <laughs> so that's going to be about it. So not only we get about it, not only we get a piece of heart, I mean a heart container I mean, but we got twin modes remains and we freed one of the four giants. Lovely. And can I not mispronounce my words today? Seriously. Okay, I'm actually going to let this cutscene of one of the four giants play out. Seriously, where the four giants are at? That This looks pretty cool. I wouldn't mind living here. See the beautiful waterfalls. The beautiful platforms. See all the bubbles here. All. And all of this entire place, including the sky as well. Looks beautiful, I ain't gonna lie. Ah, anyway. Where are we on time? 9 minutes and 43 seconds, okay. I might let this play out. Maybe, maybe.
So, here's one of the four giants speaking. He's speaking to uh, Tattle. So. Oh, yeah. It's not. Not Navi, but. You know, Tattle has to talk to them. And. Tattle is being, actually being very rude. Literally. Oh, yeah. So, glad we... I am so glad <laughs> that we freed all four of the giants. You know, we gotta do that. Forgive our friend. Huh? Friend? What friend? Light? What light? What is this, the Blues Brothers? Good lord. Well, we freed all four of the giants. Freed all... All oh, the giants, what's gonna happen now? Uh, we got a little reference to the Death Mountain eruption from Ocarina of Time. Guess what? We just saved the Kana Canyon and we just broke the curse. Get rid of all that evil from this canyon. Yep. And we did exactly that. Well, the sky isn't purple anymore. But. Uh, not only that, we are going to get a new. We are going to get a new weapon from the Great Fairy. Since we got all 15 stray fairies from the Stone Tower Temple. So. Let's go see what it is, shall we? Oh man, I have to seriously yawn right now, good lord. So, since we got all 15 of these stray fairies, why don't we see what the reward is? <laughs> oh, there's the great fairy. She absolutely looks weird with the blonde hair. Seriously, but we get the great fairy sword. This is an incredibly powerful weapon to use. This is actually a useful weapon, and it looks awesome. The problem is not only is a not only this weapon is a two-handed sword, but it's also a C button item. So that's the big drawback of this great fairy sword. The big drawback of this item. So. Anyway, enough about that. It is time to go to the secret shrine. We're gonna be going to the going to the palace. Oh, fine. You just knocked me off. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be swimming as Zora. Now, missed the dolphin jump. Fishing fool. So, we're going to have the rematches of the uh, mini-bosses that we've encountered in the previous temples. So, why don't we do that real quick. And since we have the light arrows, we are going to light up the little sun. We are absolutely going to do that. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, man. Oh. You can't come up with your commentary today. So, there he is. So, there he is. We're gonna have to defeat these four bosses. Or the mini bosses, for that matter. So we can get a piece of heart. Oh, careful, Link. So, I think we ought to go to door number one first. And believe it or not, we are going to do just that. I think we ought to do it. So, we're going to be facing three of these, uh... Dino Zalfos. Whatever you call these guys. So, we're going to use the Great Fairy Sword. So, let's do it. Man. Oh, Dino Dino Zalfos. Man, one hit... Look at that, one hit kill with the uh, 
the great fairy sword. Oh man, that's ridic it's ridiculous. But it's powerful. It will do the job. So anyway, we're gonna be getting about 50 rupees. Steamed hams. But our wallet's too full. Oh wait, it was a hundred. Good lord. I should have emptied my wallet while I had the chance, but oh well. Yeah, we'll just jump in the water. This isn't too bad. This isn't too bad, it's just you gotta watch what you're doing. Okay, here comes the whiz robe. This time he's gonna use the power of ice. We got an ice whiz robe. So yeah, let's just hit him with the great fairy sword. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Oh yeah, nice shot. I just hit him with the gilded sword this time. Ah, oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's not too happy about that. Oh, okay, where is he at? Okay, I'm gonna get away from him. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Yeah, how easy was that? I just made that look easy, didn't I? Oh, how much you want to bet we're going to be facing Johnny Bravo and Wart? Uh, we are actually going to do that. Look at that crap, our wallet's too full. Steamed hams, but our wallet is too full. Nah, really? Anyway, it is... It is time. <laughs> And I'm gonna be making this video, so... Oh, boy. So, I don't know how in the world am I gonna pull this off, but... You know, after we actually do this, we are absolutely gonna go to the moon. I'm not joking, we are gonna go to the moon. I'm thinking about finishing up this game, so I'm actually gonna do that. So... There's Ward again. What the hell are you staring at? That's what the um, Duckman said off that one show. Duckman. Eric Tiberius Duckman. Oh man, you can see him in this big ol' eye. Oh, boy, this battle is just tedious. You know, what I should have done is just use the arrows. Well, you gotta knock off these bubbles first. You know, thank God for this double defense. That is just gonna help me a lot. Oh. Um, well, I do have three more videos to make. Well, four when I'm actually making this. So, really, I got four more videos to make, and I'm uploading. I'm gonna upload these on my YouTube channel. So, no, you missed that. Look at that. Oh, I missed. I should be using my shield, seriously. Oh, I got a hit on him right there. How about that? So... Boy, don't waste your magic now. Dude, you get it, keep getting hit by the bubbles like that. You're not gonna go anywhere. Not really, but still. Believe it or not, it is 11.02 p.m. and this is still post-commentary. Dude, you just blew yourself up. You just got, got hit by your own bombs. Oh, man. Good lord, dude. And it is 11.02 p.m. and it is November the 20th, 2023. And this is still post-commentary, by the way. Oh, man. Uh, we gotta hit his eye. Gotta hit the eye, dude. Gotta hit the eye of the tiger. That's an awesome song, by the way. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna wait until his eye opens up, and we get a get a hit on him. No, I got him right there. Oh man. Oh yeah, here we go. Man, I got a hit on his eye with the gilded sword. Man, look at how many bubbles are there. Good lord. Good lord, dude. That is a lot of pink bubbles. Oh, we got him. Yeah, I just hit him with um with my gilded sword. Good job, Link. 
Yeah, we're to be facing Johnny Bravo last. I gotta save him for last. So it's gonna be round two of uh, facing Johnny Bravo. Well, really round five if we're facing him now, which I'm playing Majora's Mask again, again. Gotta do it. Oh man, I don't know what else to do. Seriously. Oh boy. I, I'm thinking about just beating the game and just going to the moon. That's what I'm gonna do. Here we go, round two of Link versus Johnny Bravo, aka the Garo Master. Oh man. So just like before, just use your shield to block his attacks. And just avoid getting hit by his fiery swords. Oh, you gotta be careful. Oh man, I got lucky there. I always get lucky at this fight. Seriously, that's how good I'm, I am taking out these guys. Oh boy. I don't recommend you using the Great Fairy Sword. Oh, I got a lucky hit there. See that? I almost didn't get a hit there. But, just like I said, we're gonna get 100 rupees here. You know why? Steamed hams. But our wallet is too full. And a silver rupee is worth a whopping 100 rupees. Man, I need to clear out my wallet. Well, I'm going to be doing that shortly. So, anyway. Not only did we uh, beat the secret shrine, but we are going to actually get a piece of heart. So, I think that's going to wrap it up in this video so yep not only we are gonna get a piece of heart for finishing up the secret secret shrine but we got 18 heart containers how cool is that there you go you just fell in the water again you big dummy maybe I could put that put that sh clip from the TV show Sanford and Son and put that clip in there. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up right here. So that's going to be the end of this video. So next time on the Japanese version of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, it will be time to go to the moon. Literally. Anyway, see you next time and goodbye.